Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead universe, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video for the ones who live and The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. We're going to talk about an article from Screen Rant where they go over the possible confirmation about Rick's return. All right, guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead Universe, for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, and The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. So, we have an article from Screen Rant. I thought this one was very, very interesting because, obviously, Walking Dead has been kind of up in the air for the last few months on, you know, Rick's return. Was it Rick that came back? Recently, Melissa McBride, I think about two months ago, roughly, Melissa McBride made an announcement saying that, no, Rick Grimes is not the person that came back. You will learn who the person is in season two, stuff like that. And now we are seeing an article from Screen Rant now basically confirming that we kind of have a bit more evidence pointing towards the fact that Rick is the one that came back and Rick is the one that Carol mentioned to Daryl in the season one finale. So this is all over the place. I mean, honestly, like, is Rick back? Is he not back? Well, we saw that he came back at the end of Ones Who Live, so obviously he is back. But then at the same time, apparently it's not Rick that came back that Carol is mentioning to Daryl. What is the timeline involved, stuff like that, and now Screen Rant has absolutely clarified one thing for us. Um, the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, as of Season 2, takes place two months after the ending of the original Walking Dead, which makes sense because that is around the time that Once Who Live 106 happened is after the ending of The Walking Dead. It sounds like it wasn't that much after that. So it would make sense that maybe Rick did come back, right? And after, you know, the major time skip and stuff like that, Rick came back about, you know, two months or so later, and then Carol went on her journey to go find Daryl. So does that give us any kind of evidence really specifically on if Rick's the one that came back? Yes and no, because here's the thing. I don't think they've actually confirmed when exactly it was when Rick and Michonne came home in comparison to the, um, you know, uh, ending of 1124 when Daryl rides off on the bike. Is that a month or two later or is that later, later in the timeline, like half a year later? I don't know. Because here's the thing. Is Carol already in France by the time that Rick comes back? But if that's the case, who came back, you know? And why are they teasing us like that? Who else would have come back? Did Morgan come back from fear? You know what I'm saying? We know he was going to go to Alexandria to look for Rick. I mean, I guess it's it's possible. But again, it makes you wonder at that point, why didn't Morgan have a reunion with Rick at the end of 106, you know? Um, so I, I don't know. It's, it's a very, very tough thing to, to say. I still wouldn't say this is a confirmed thing. I would say that we've just gotten more evidence of it, if anything like that. But I'll say this. Good attempt, screen rant. Good attempt. Um, but I'm still, I'm still just as lost as ever, honestly. Because here's the thing. Do I think that Rick realistically could have come back in the timeline of Daryl Dixon two months after the original series ends? And then Carol, you know, tells Rick, like, you just got back. Like, you know, Michonne, she's not going to let him go. So it's like, okay, I'll stay, uh, you know, you stay here with Michonne and your kids. I'll go out and find Daryl and, you know, bring him back and stuff like that. Absolutely. Carol would do that for Rick. I know she would. So, you know, to me, it's like it makes the most sense that that's what's going on here, especially the ter the determination to find Daryl. Yes, because, you know, he's her friend, but also because you notice the lengths that Carol is going to and, and going through to find Daryl. I mean, she's literally getting on a plane and going across the freaking ocean. So, you know, she's going through very big levels. Now, you could argue, regardless, she would do that because it's her best friend. And yes, I agree. But at the same time, I feel like there's more of an urgency for Carol to get to Daryl because she has this information and because Rick did, as a matter of fact, come back. So, I don't know. It's tough to tell. I will still say this. I think Melissa McBride might be yanking our chain here because who else, who in the hell would have come back at that timeline in the, you know, in the universe. It, it just doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, Rick definitely came back. It's just the matter of them revealing it. I feel like they're trying to throw us off. I feel like they're making it so obvious that it's, it's obvious because again, if it's not Rick, that's going to be seriously disappointing. And honestly, at that point, I'm going to be like, man, 
what was even the point of Carol informing Daryl that someone came back, you know? Like, what is it? Like, like Ezekiel came back from the supermarket? Like, I don't understand. Like, who's back? You know what I'm saying? So, time will tell. Screen Rant definitely did an attempt to get a bit closer to this, but I still feel like this is up in the air, and we're going to have to watch season two of Daryl Dixon to see if we get any answers, which it sounds like, according to Melissa McBride, we will get an answer about that this season. So, I'm uh, I'm curious. Yeah, I'm definitely curious. I'm shocked, honestly, uh, the fans haven't already spoiled uh, if that is what it is. Um, I guess they're keeping that spoiler under wraps pretty good. And that also kind of makes me afraid because I feel like if Rick came back and Daryl found out about it, that would have leaked online somewhere. You know, somebody would have been like, yep, uh, here's the scene of Carol telling Daryl that Rick's back, you know? So it's like, man... What a tough, what a tough situation. <laughs> they can't even just have Rick get back home and that's just the end of it. No, no, they got to tease us in multiple different things and make it seem like something that it's not. I mean, seriously, that's what Walking Dead's done at this point. So anyway, uh, yeah, can't have a simple reunion. I guess not. Thank you all for watching, guys. Post comments down below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click to subscribe and tune in any of the videos of The Walking Dead Universe. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead of You, Sunscreen, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead Universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Out.